everybody. Welcome to Band Advice TV and to the Matt and Mark About Music podcast. I am your co-host, Mark Allen V, and... I'm Matt Mason. How you doing, Earth Rockers? Hey, man. How you doing, Matt? I'm hanging in there. How about yourself? Man, another week, another set of challenges, that's for sure. But before we get into my life, let's... Uh, What's what's new with you? What have you uh, been up to and doing this week? And the as we're weathering this here pandemic thing. Well, I've been uh, transferring a bunch of files to another hard drive, therefore freeing me up a lot of space to be trying to do what I'm trying to do here. And what is it you're so, trying to do? Well, you know, for one thing, I had this this two gig hard drive and it was full up. And so I got uh, this other 5 gig hard drive on eBay. And uh it took a while to back up from the 2 the 2 gig to the the 5 gig. And so, you know, it was kind of tense there for a while, not quite understanding exactly what's going on and my computer's a little bit on the aged side, and so I was just <laughs> desperately wanting to save that data and be able to have you know more space to do these other things that i'm doing so that was a big plus there because i got uh you know the computer cleared off a little bit and the stuff backed up so now i'm ready to work forward with other stuff awesome so what, uh, what kind of projects you got lined up for this week well so the the big part was uh you know i just was out of storage i had all these little thumb drives and i was trying to get all the stuff together in one spot so I, I kind of had to do a quick uh, session of that, you know, here and there, just trying to get it all in one spot. And then, you know, I'm still working on uh, compiling these four EPs that I'm putting out. Awesome, man. So awesome. I, I, I've, I've got that almost all in one, one place, ready to send off to the mastering facility. So we'll uh, hope for that by the end of the week. And, you know, I'm trying to, like, uh, keep keep – between the ditches, you know, it's weird not being able to go anywhere. Yeah, it's not easy. Gigs. <laughs> what about you? What have you been so doing? So talk to me about these. Uh, we'll, we'll touch on that a little later on. Uh, <laughs> well, some right. big changes, some big changes. Anyway, uh, so tell me about these four EPs. So you're going to have, what, four or five songs in each one of them? What's what's the game plan on that? Yeah, something like that, you know, so... Like the one that I'm really envisioning probably be coming out first is called Get Out of the City. Okay. And so that uh, that song was on uh, Be the Wolf, but I also uh, cut a different version of it uh, in Texas and, and he, you know, here. So I got you know two different versions of that. Uh, I've got a version of a uh, She by Graham Parsons. Actually, I've got two versions of that, so I'm going to dole out one of those on there, and then, uh, I don't know, some kind of live track. Nice. But, you know, now I've got now I got all this hard drive space and everything together, you know, I'm actually able to see what I've got to work with, and it's like, mm-hmm. you know, I just want to get some of this music out there, and there's really no excuse, no better way to do it than this, you know, just online through the website. Great, and So. Great. Uh, I, I'm shooting it, trying to get give everybody 16 new songs over the four EPs. You know, versions they haven't maybe heard before. Okay. Unreleased stuff, studio shit. You know, live stuff. It's gonna be good. Good, good. Now, where are you well, sending this off to? Some well, mastering house. Well, I'm sending it to a a, a guy over in Poland. He's a, he okay. runs like a metal label. He runs a metal label over. And so uh, he's, uh, you know, graciously offered to do some free mastering for anybody that's, you know, been affected by the situation here. And so I was like, what the heck, you know, I'm just putting these out online. It's not like, let's just see what happens. I mean, totally different set of ears, you know, kind of, he does a lot of different kind of music, but I'm kind of curious to see because mastering is sort of a, it's kind of a voodoo of its own, you know. It is, it is. Recording and all. Yeah, so, you know, like a real mastering engineer, I'm anxious to see what, you know, somebody that's got some uh, 
skills that that can do with some of this. I'm sure it'll be good enough to put on the site. It'll be good enough to listen to on, you know, streaming services and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's all pretty good recordings, pretty good quality, but, you know, you need to level it out a little bit and just, right. just make it presentable, you know, and that's kind of the key key is the mastering part of it. Absolutely. Have you ever uh, messed with some of those uh, those online ones that uses the bots and all that too? To figure it all out, what was that one that CD I Baby have, was really pushing? I, I haven't really explored any of that really too much ever. I don't know anything really about it other than I see it advertised and wonder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's about I, it. I played around with one of them where I guess you, you send it up there and it runs it through some algorithms and then kicks it back and, and I had mixed results with it. Now some of it, you know, one of the things I learned of. Uh, reading up on mastering and stuff is that uh, you know you, you've got to get the good mix to them there's only so much voodoo they can do and I've heard more I mean I've heard a lot of stories about the you know the mastering guy sending it back says do this do this do this then send it back to me but you know because you can only you know boost the bass and so much and take out the highs so much you know so yeah it's definitely you got to have the good product to begin with so anyway I, I'm curious yeah, to see how this guy Oh, go, go ahead. There's a little la more lag than there was last week, it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm curious to see how this guy works out. I mean, if he's offering free to people that are affected by it, uh, I qualify for that now. So I may uh, may send a couple things his way and see what happens. Yeah, man. You know, I, I was like, you know, just exploring working with people all over the place, you know, and different different walks of life you know and you get kind of like a whole unbiased um opinion about what you sound like because maybe you know maybe they're doing lots of metal but i mean heck man i, I can see how diverse my musical taste is and mm -hmm. you know it's just interesting to see what their take is on something like this yeah fresh ears so, is always a good thing yeah so i'm excited about it so what is your release schedule then? So you got four EPs. Are you going to release them all at once? Are you going to space them out over a period of weeks, months? What's what's the plan? I don't know. I'm thinking I might just, you know, try to put them out there one a week or something like that. Okay. But I just, I just got to get them, get them back from this mastery thing and, and see what I got and just kind of see how it goes, you know, because every day is like a new... <laughs> It's like a new door. What, what's behind this door, you know? Oh, yes, yes, that is true. So have you been doing any live concerts and stuff this week? What I did this week was I filmed a short little spot outside under the moon. Okay. And so it was, you know, it's kind of like a, you know, just me playing three of my original songs. And uh, talking a very little bit, you know, so mm -hmm. I put that out that there. That had to be hard. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. So I put that out there and I got, you know, I think the last time I looked all of it together, maybe there's a thousand views on there. Nice. And so, you know, you're, you're kind of like, all right, you're starting to figure out what the odds are going to have to be and the numbers are going to have to be if you want to really, like, make live concerts or made for facebook special type things <laughs> yeah yeah pay what a gig you know a good gig used to pay that's so, true i mean the bottom so line you, is i need to get a lot more viewers if you gotten any tips or any uh feedback or, or financial gains from your uh your little live session there yeah, man, absolutely. You know, I, I try to, like, not be so overt about it, you know. I put, like, my PayPal address, like, after the first song and a few times, you know, later on in the video. The whole thing's about 15 minutes or so. And so, like, I put my PayPal address in there several times starting after the first song. Okay. So... I'm trying kind of an experiment to like not make it so salesy. And then if the people are really watching before the second song, they see, Hey, you know, there's this PayPal address. And so, uh, you know, 
I, the bottom line is you need more views, you know? Right, right. It's a numbers need more game. views to get more people. Yeah. And so how do you do that? I'm not really sure, but, you know, I think <laughs> putting out good content is the name of the game to getting some views. And, you know, a right. thousand views is nothing when it comes to all these, um, you know, uh, figures and facts and stuff. I mean, I think a hundred thousand views is kind of the start of something. Yeah, yeah. I get it. And, you know, I've been watching some of the live streams from some of the guys around here. And uh, it, it's it, it's interesting on the Facebook Live as you're watching the number of people watching. You get this big spike right at the beginning. But as it trails off, I mean, some of these guys are there down to like just 30 people watching by the time it's over with. And it's like, so, you know, those are some of the metrics that... Uh, Maybe we need to pay attention to maybe maybe a two hour concert isn't the way to go. I mean, the logic is, is that longer you're on there and the more opportunities you're going to have to earn some revenue. But, you know, if it's it's I don't know, I just these are these are things that we're going to be learning about as we go over the next couple of months. And this, you know, is is how what's what's the ideal duration and uh you know, as I've said many a times too, it's like you've got to have a fixed time slot. You've got to, you know, just like Vi does on on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You know, at two o'clock, you know, you know he's going to be there, so you got to yeah. have a fixed time slot. So that's uh, kind of leading into something I'm going to be working on. I've, I've decided I'm going to spend a little time since I have time on my hands to uh, I'm going to actually build out a little website that's just going to have people have the opportunity to put their time slots in. And uh, their URLs and uh, kind of put together a little scheduling system. I don't know. It might be a, a good way of people kind of saying, okay, this is a good time slot. This is not a good time slot. And, you know, to see where they can slide their stuff in. So so that's a game so plan to have something. Like, scheduling like for everybody around the globe? Probably not that. Probably within a certain region and genre or break it up by regions. Because, you know, it's... You're talking about local musicians playing for for local people. You know your crowd's going to be local for the most part. Granted, we'd love to have a global reach, but your your fan base is going to be the people that you play to at clubs and gigs. So you know you kind of break it up by region. It says okay, you know in the Tulsa region, this person's going to be going from here to here to here or whatever. I don't know, just just tossing around okay. ideas. I mean, it, this is all so fluid and and, and uh, like I said, it's a, a lot of trial and error. So I'm going to throw something together this this week i'll probably have it up under bandadvice.com or something like that and we'll just uh so whatever your schedule is man you get first right of refusal <laughs> give me your give me your info beta testing for the new thing all right yeah, awesome. absolutely cool. so that sets on my on my plate so yeah so i've had uh i've had myself some changes uh this last week after uh 20 years at the the same job I, I was let go on Tuesday yeah last Tuesday so right now music's my wow. only source of so income. how they oh go no ahead. how do they do how do they do that now well they called me up I got a I got a text message popped up on my computer it says hey can I talk to you and I knew exactly what was going to happen then so the boss called me up on my phone and explained the whole thing and yeah, so, so yeah, yeah, uh, it's uh, it's yes. a little different. W- waking up in the morning and it's like, you know, we haven't told the kids yet, so it's like, uh, I got to pretend like I'm working from home and trying to work out some stuff. And but we're gonna take take a little time, kind of collect. Well, I do have a, a severance, so take a little time to kind of figure some things out and uh, get as much content out there as possible and. My game plan, music-wise, is I am going to just deluge the market. Uh, I'm going to release a song a week. And uh, All right. know, different, different variances on quality and stuff like that. Some of it may just be me and my, my acoustic guitar. Others may be full-blown stuff. But I've got uh, got about eight songs that are ready to go, or pretty close to ready to go. And I'm just going to put out a song a week. And uh, then as those are queued up, work on recording some more stuff and yeah, it's a numbers game. We'll just see. You know, if somebody likes one song. Hopefully, they'll stumble on the others. And well, anyway, now's the time to do it, right? I've got nothing else going on. Uh, we're not planning on. There's really no hiring going on at the moment because everything's kind of on standby. So I might as well just focus on this music and uh, 
get it out there as much as I can. So it's my game plan. Well, man, I mean, other than that, just uh, just going to be uh, you know, doing some videos and doing some music and getting things out there and you know, hope we can, uh, you know, get something happening. We'll just see. Yeah. You know, it's so kind of ironic, though, because years ago, uh, probably for my 15th anniversary at the company, they had, they had published a bio in one of the books to celebrate my, my tenure there. And I wrote in there that, you know, I always keep music as a backup in case my dreams of being an overworked and underpaid uh, uh, web developer don't pan out. So <laughs> how little did I know that that was going to be true? <laughs> gotta got to watch what you wish for, right? So anyway, we'll serve, we'll survive this, you know, we, we've got a good game plan going. And in the meantime, I'm just going to be, uh, you know, digging deep and, and writing music and getting it out there to the world. So yeah, on, on the, uh, the Mark Allen V front, that's about it. Just going to be a rock and roll star for the next couple of weeks and a couple of months. See what happens. You'll be putting out lots of music. I'll be putting out lots of music. Yeah, so it's just the thing of trying to take the negatives and turn them into positives, you know, just stepping off the rocket ship and being able to figure out, hey, what do I need to get done to get me to the next thing or a different thing, you know? And so it's uncertain, but it's kind of exciting and the same thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. So, yeah, that's uh end of the uh, end of another week or start of another week for us and, uh, I say that we just uh, you know, take notes and do the best we can and come back next week and see where we stand. Any last-minute suggestions good, for anyone? Man. Well, hang in there. No, oh, I will. All I will. Well, just hang in there, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make it work out. Hey, the way I said it, it could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. So uh, we'll, just, we'll just make it happen. All right, guys, we'll just, uh, you know, keep it real, keep it together, keep us posting what you all are doing. And until next time, I am your co-host, Mark Allen V. And I'm Matt Mason. All right. Peace.